I can't help it, I just seem to see the world different It ain't Republicans or liberals, it's mental illness The internet is only interested in left opinions Cancel culture's got more power lately than the First Amendment If you don't like it, leave, we will not defund police We don't want no riots in our neighborhoods or in the streets We respect freedom of speech, we protect what we believe We don't want nobody dead, so please do not tread on me In America Soldiers dying overseas, so America You say what we believe, my America I won't ever take a knee My freedom is the reason You can disrespect our flag If my stars and stripes offend you Then I'll help you pack your bags America Good evening, America how y'all doing, people? This is your friendly neighborhood bearded weirdo coming at you loud and proud as I always do. And with this magnificence upon my face. Questionable. <laughs> Not questionable. That is the question that has already been answered. Anyway, how y'all doing, America? This is Tuesday, April 9th, and I just, it, it's great to be alive. It's great to be alive. And you know what else is great? The fact that I'm sitting next to this man, my best friend, my compadre, my amigo, the, you know, who also happens to be my pastor, the one, the only, the pastor, Gary Podozik. And then behind the Iron Curtain, the man who pushes all our buttons oh so well. Talk about me. <laughs> yeah. He is our friend. Steve Cattell. I'm giving you like divine powers over there, man. <laughs> like, you, like, like you could like cut the stream right now and end this thing and be like, we're done. Actually, he could. I mean, technically he can. <laughs> yes, he can. He has control of the buttons. Anyway, how are you guys doing today? Yeah, not bad. Not bad. Good I'm, day. I'm here. You're here? <laughs> You're here? You're just here? Yes. You're not good, not bad, just here? Yep, that is correct. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, that's slightly depressing. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, but uh, America, I hope you're doing well. And you know what? This I'm going to introduce this topic we're going to talk about. We're going we're to be doing a little little three part series on the word veracity. Um, for some of you, you're not going to know what that means. Um, and we or will you explain think you know that. What it means. Or you may think you know what it means. It's not veracity. That's something else. Which is uh, what I thought you said the first time no, you said that. No, it's veracity. Veracity. Um, but. In this day and age where you got people that want to talk about their truth or what they think is truth or what somebody else, you know, always trust the science or all these things. We've forgotten what it means to live oh, I know a that life. Guy. Huh? I know that guy. The science? The science? The he's, si like a, he's like a wrestler. Uh, uh, right? No. He can't even no. make a pitch all the way to home plate. <laughs> he's not a wrestler. If he's a wrestler, then he's like worse the than. Sides. Wait, what was that guy? What was that guy that used to do? Uh, Barry Horowitz. He's worse than Barry Horowitz. Okay. Yes, I just pulled a big name. Uh, uh, that is uh, an old. I name. dug deep into the like, uh, into the names of a jobber wrestler back in the day in WWE. That's uh, old. That's old. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I mean, Bob Backlund, even at his age, was better than uh, oh, the yeah. science. Um, <laughs> anyway, the science. Go ahead. Anyway, Sorry to distract. You got all these people that want to talk about what truth is or what truth we should be following. And number one, no, wait a minute. It's 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 my truth. No, 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 no. no. I've been explicitly our told. Truth. I've been ex our truth. look. The government no, will not. Another wrestler. The government will not lie to me and has told me that all I need is my truth. Hmm. That's, you have been deceived. No, no, um, no, no. You no. Have they been, would not. And they they're would. mocking you while getting you to deceive, <laughs> to believe that. Um, it, it's the truth. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, is that your that. truth? Nope, nope. The, we're going to sure? talk about. We're going to talk about what is truth. What is the definition of truth? We're also going to talk about who. You know what is truth, and then we're going to talk about who is truth because there is a who in there. Ooh, there is very much so a who in there, um, and what Ooh, the word veracity means you? in aspect to truth and we're going to talk about over three things now obviously today's topic as you can see on a thing is veracity where is it gone where did it go where did it come from where did it go where did it come from cotton eye joe <laughs> uh, but gonna say my i'm going to tell you now there's going to be some people <laughs> where did you where did you go there's going to be some people my that get their knickers me. in a twist when we talk about this subject and i really don't care i really don't i'm done caring well i think a lot of people are done caring 
I'm also done with Karen, but that's a different subject. No, no, no. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I mean, I, if you let's let's just face the facts. I think that when it comes to the radicals of this day and age that not, not just, and I'm not just picking on the left. I'm picking, no, on no, we're talking radicalism. Yes. I'm picking on radicalism in general. Okay. The radicalization of this nation, the radicalization of the school system, the radicalization of everything that we, we know and think of even exactly. just international affairs and stuff. And it's, it, it, I mean, it's insane that you can like, I, I'll give you just one little bit of news and I know it's not on your listing, but and popped on my, my news feed this morning, uh, that 18-year-old kid was arrested by the FBI today for supposedly joining ISIS. Now, when I say supposedly, it's because he, he said that he was... He said that he was a member of ISIS. Now, of course, the Islamic Brotherhood would obviously <laughs> want to go... Was he gay? Sure. No, 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 no. Sure. Uh, it, I mean, if you're death to America and all that. But the thing was, is this guy didn't seem like he was so much death to America, but he was very much death to the churches in America. Yep. And he was specifically, he had a manifesto that was targeting like hundreds of churches, hundreds of churches that he was going to just Why air at out. At this point, he's air just out killing his kill, own. Air out and kill everybody. When it comes to the majority um, of churches in this country. Well, and so, but the thing that brought brought this up is, is, and the reason why I brought it up is not that, not so much that, okay, this dude, probably an American citizen, not questioning, uh, buying, buying on his truth, okay, about what he believes is right. Um, but it was the FBI part that threw me. Yeah. That was the scary part. Now, I, I, and I don't mean it to say like, oh, uh, you know, they caught the bad guy, you know, with the gun or with mm. the terroristic mindset. Okay, yeah, that's great. But he's an 18-year-old kid. The FBI must have been watching this kid for a while. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So I, I, I don't only, know. Like, the only you know time what the I mean? FBI, like, the only time I don't trust my three-letter agencies, especially if they're watching 18-year-olds. No one. Went, we've caught them with on their computers and crap. Oh, oh you mean you, you mean the CIA who's been caught the, the with the CIA, their, you know, the FBI, with the, with the you know. underage um, exactly. Movies? It, it, and this is what I mean. It's so radicalized I that I'm these, saying that to, to not get us kicked yeah, off. Yeah, but by the, saying it's, the real it's been words. so <laughs> radicalized. It's been so radicalized that the acceptance level of citizens in America, I think, has risen to a point where they're no longer believing. It's like it's almost like uh, what was the movie Inception. Yes, where they put where, one thought. Where in you're the brain. in a dream and you're in a dream and you're in a dream, but they get so insanely like convoluted the further down the rabbit yep. hole they go that it's almost insane, like what you're seeing and what's happening around you. That it's this is why, like in the movie, they get stuck in there. But like almost got stuck, didn't totally but, get stuck. But the point of like what I'm saying is, is that we've hit a point in America where I think it's so radical now that Americans are literally just looking around and going. This is bananas. Like you can't the sell majority, me. You right. cannot sell me yeah. another thing anymore and make me go. Yeah, I believe that the, is anymore. Like people are not going to trust that, anything anymore. The, the radicals are the ones that are leading everything. Okay, the majority of radicals they're the ones that are holding political office, and this is both sides. Truth. This is both sides. The radicals are holding. Uh, they're holding the political offices, and then the everyday human beings they get you to they get you to vote for them because they agree with one thing that you do. And you vote for them, and then you get this problem. Instead of actually raising up real men of character, real women of character to take well, these positions. But that's the thing. But so you get led astray, and you're right. But 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 even they, in that, even in that though, like the the people who and this is going to tie right in with where you're going. But the people who actually stand for truth, yep. right, real truth, the actual truth, like they don't get a shot because mm -hmm. the media, like like. Let's talk about real, real quick. One person that we have talked about here, which was during the governor race. Okay, her Singh, yep, who was running for governor in New Jersey, and he didn't know about him until I mentioned him, and he spoke truth. He and spoke I truth a to with the man. He spoke truth to the state of New Jersey situation. He spoke about the real issues. He spoke about stuff that's wrong. He spoke about, and instead of getting a good crack, the media basically just. Played interference, silenced him, ran a rhino candidate that yeah, nobody ran, even knew. Ran right? Rizzo to, to take his vote. No, I don't even think Rizzo was the yeah, problem. I oh think no, no, I, I think I think I think Chatterelli. Chatterelli, Chatterelli was the pick from the door. Rizzo was a smokescreen. Rizzo and Singh was, was, a, Singh was silenced, but he Rizzo was the truth. Rizzo was a 
smoke. Rizzo was the smoke screen to eliminate the votes out but, of. I'm not even getting Singh. so logistical. I'm just saying. Oh, that I, Singh, I saw it happen. But Singh was silenced. <laughs> I was working Singh for the Singh was silenced by the media and the mainstream to basically. And, and you go mainstream in New Jersey. Yeah, actually, like the media didn't want him to speak. They didn't give him rounds. They didn't give him shots. And so. Chatterelli gets to be the one, and he's a rhino, we knew, we knew and we didn't. Gonna we we knew he was going to lose. He was a dead. He was a dead. He was, he was dead in. He, he was, was dead in transit. He was just as bad as, as the bad, incumbent. As bad as Murphy, the incumbent, Murphy was, but with an R next to his name. But 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 the thing was, is people didn't care because at this point it was like, well, it doesn't matter. Oh, it does matter. It doesn't matter because they're neither of these guys are truth or or, or the truth has been manipulated now to be this is the truth. So they sounded the same, they talked the same, they had the same talking points. So and and when we watch the stupid uh debate, debate if the questions coming from the moderators and stuff were like it it didn't even if there was no challenge to actually say, oh, hey, yeah, it might as well have been. Like, it was like, do you was like bad. Joe Biden's like, ice cream flavor? Because, you know. It was, it, it was <clears throat> a bad, like, and I watched it, and, like, I would. It, 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 it's, and this is the thing. It's, it's, because there is no more truth, what you get told now is the truth. You just buy it as, well, I know it's not, but where is the truth? There isn't another option. So, like, and that's what's happening now. You figure, like, anything that's on actual television. Like, if you watch literal cable network news television of any sort, you're not being told the truth anymore. It's not. It's just fake. Everything. And I'm not trying to be like Trump and go, oh, fake news, fake news, all that junk. No, no. I'm saying literally it's fabrication. Oh, it's out it's now live. It's out now It's out It's now actual lies. fiction. They're not actually even telling you factual stories anymore. They're just telling you what – and I, the best video I ever saw was – and I forget what, it, what the topic was. But somebody did a video. It was about 20 minutes of broadcasters saying their news broadcasting. And all the headlines And every the single one oh, of them yeah. all across the, the yeah. entire nation, literally different news stations, different people yeah. sitting behind the desks saying the exact same yep. words. Word for word. Not, not oh, sounds a little bit like. Nope. No, no, no. Word, word, word for word. And when that's happening, I'm sorry, guys. You got to look at it. Yeah, it might as well be, it. it literally huh. might as well be done in studio whatever and in, in, in Hollywood. And might just as well have, syndicate you the might entire be, thing. Uh, no, no, I'm serious like at this point no not even syndicated at this point literally go for broke get a uh, uh, what's his name that did the transformers movies oh the explosion guy. yeah yeah him i can't remember, I can't remember his name but <laughs> get him jackson? no no peter jackson did lord of the rings no but you get him do it too why not i mean get him to do it get get some good movie directors Ooh, what's uh, what's his name from et spielberg get spielberg, spielberg to direct the news you know, there'll be aliens in literally every every episode. You'll watch it. You'll well, be like, "Oh, what aliens are coming to get us and tonight?" See, here's the, and, and see, here's the thing. And going back <laughs> into oh, Michael Bay. Michael Bay, yeah. <laughs> like, so you get one one night, you get Michael Bay to direct the news, and it's like nothing but like exploding vehicles and car chases <laughs> and transformer every, sound and, effects, and, and, like and all the and, and, like, sound and solar flare glares all across the board. The it would be the highest produced news <laughs> ever. The only but you know what? Of, You'd be entertained more than you are now. The only man and in you history. Don't care. The only man in history who would put transformer sound effects on shredder yeah. <laughs> but still my point but the point is but, is that you get my point oh right? yeah no so like there's, we it's so fiction might as well just like s- just stop selling us because, whatever the garbage is make it produced at and least. because it be and see here's the thing because people have forgotten what truth is and who truth is now when they come out with anything obscure you're just automatically believing it like they've been spending the last, not, six, or, or you're not, but you're looking for the next thing that's more believable, and that's like what I for think the last is happening. six months they've been trying to push this whole like we now we're going to release the documents of uh, of all the al- times aliens have landed on Earth. Like it's a smokescreen. Yeah, but it's but an that, absolute. But you see what screen. I'm saying? But like that's a that's a prime point, right? So something something relative. I'm not going to say truth because even in the things that like pop up in the news that are there for like even the briefest of seconds. You'll see it and be like, oh, what was that? And and then all of a sudden, they go, oh, wait, wait. Erase, bury erase, that, hold on, erase, erase that, erase. erase that. Don't talk about that no more. But here, we'll talk about this. It's almost like Jedi mind tricks. This is not the truth you were looking for. Oh, here, look, a bear in the woods. And it's doing that thing we all said we could never imagine seeing it happen before. Evidence of a bear <laughs> taking a poop in the woods. Uh, and everybody's like, 
Wow, they do it. They actually do it in the woods. No kidding, really. I never would have thought. So, no uh, kidding. <laughs> so, the, since we got, like I said, we are going to talk about what is truth. So, we're going to start there. What is truth? So, a good, a good link, a good thing that we use, that both me here and Pastor like to use, and actually he's the one that introduced Hi. majority of our church to using is looking up, up, looking up how what words actually mean, not what they've made them mean now. And you can't trust it anymore. And best way to do that is go back to the man who actually wrote the dictionary we all read, Webster himself, and go to his 1828 dictionary. Yeah, you got to go back a ways. Got to go back a ways. You can't go into Webster's now 2000 Miriam webster They added dictionary words that don't even it, yep. exist, and they've changed definitions. Yep. So in Webster's dictionary, when you look up the word truth, and we're just going to go with the top one, okay? It's a noun, obviously. Conformity to fact or reality. Exact accordance with... With that which is or has been or shall be, the truth of history constitutes its whole value. We rely on the truth of the scriptural prophecies. And then underneath, it's got some scriptures to go with it. It says, my mouth shall speak truth, Proverbs 8, 7, and sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth, John 17, 17. Mm -hmm. That is the definition of truth. Conformity to fact or reality. Some of y'all are believing this false reality that everybody is plugging. Not every libtard is an idiot. A lot of them are. But not every one of them is. And not every conservative is a racist. There are a few. I mean, racism's everywhere. Let's just be honest. But, but, but you get, go ahead. Because I, know, I think I know where you're going. Go ahead. We, we go in, they, they paint this reality that you can't trust the person next to you. you got to hate the person next to you. you got to hate somebody who doesn't believe the same way you do. you got to, you know, you know, women are men. And women can be men and men can be women. And, and a dude who's been a dude, born a dude, always been a dude. A dude now, dressed as a dude, disguised as a dude, dude playing, playing another, another dude. dude. Now all of a sudden, now can't do a, that movie anymore. That's that. racist. <laughs> um, now he could take some injections, cut off his he who, and now all of a sudden he can lactate and give birth to babies. I'm sorry, and that then, was a sci-fi hold on, movie. Hold on, hold on, wait, 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 <laughs> wait, wait. And then, and this is so you say that, right? Take medicine, actual, t- like take pills that force your body to lactate you're you're a dude but here's here's the problem i really want you guys to listen to this because this is the key this is the point right because if anybody if you me and you were just having a conversation talking about this like on a on a bus somewhere okay and somebody overheard this conversation we'd be we'd be reported as two people who skipped the loony bin you know what i mean like we're talking we're talking crazy town yep right so when somebody utters, oh, yeah, a guy, biological male, can chop off his junk, okay, get surgery to turn it into a non-functioning hole, hole okay, mm-hmm. and that's a good term, so, mm-hmm. all right, and then, <laughs> proper term. And, then, and then take a bunch of medicine that most likely will cause cancer, yep. okay? High amounts, all right? high amounts of estrogen now, in the male body will cause and, cancer. And then, and, then, and then get implants into your, into your body, which are not meant to be there and then okay you force your body to lactate and then you want to go and adopt a child because you can't physically have one because you don't have the equipment but but you're going to nurse this baby okay and you're going to go into one of those mother only rooms which i'm I'm perfectly fine with having places for women to breastfeed i don't have a problem with they breastfeed in public or not i don't care doesn't bother me comfortable for you don't care whatever you know baby needs to eat feed baby all right fine here you go that conversation on the bus were certified. However, when a actual medical professional agency with actual doctors, people who went to school, educated, you know, throughout the the, the half of their life, okay, spent billion, millions of dollars in education combined. I'm not saying one doctor, but millions of dollars in education of all these people who have all these letters after their name, go and say that. Milk from a transgender male or transgender female. I'm sorry. That's a male being a female. I'm yeah. going to want to speak correctly. I don't want to get us canceled. <laughs> transgender female milk is better than actual milk from a mother. When that happens, 
It's already happened. Hold on. That actually did happen. Now, mind you, I want to point that out. That is actually, I'm, what I'm saying is true. Facts that that has been stated. But it's not true. But truth. that is not truth. That is a bold-faced lie from people that you say you trust. So I say that to say every single doctor under the blood. I don't care who you are. I don't care what doctor you are. I know doctors. I know actual doctors that went to school, learned this stuff. Guess what? If you do not leave the places you work and go start your own business, you are part of the problem. If you are being fed that garbage and perpetuating it, yeah. you oh, yeah. are part of the problem. And you... Unfortunately, you're the reason why we're going to have black market hospitals opening up across the globe because we aren't going to trust what you're going to put in our bodies. We're not going to trust the stuff you hand us over the counter. We're not going to trust. So you're literally setting up a failing system because the American people, and this is what we're going to talk about, are going to – I think we're already at that point, but we'll see how many people really are fed up. But if the American people do become so completely fed up with the lies and the garbage – there's a counter society that is already being formed. Oh, yeah. It's not. This is not a. This is not like. Oh, he's talking about the dark web. He's he, Alex Jones is going to find out. He's going to be like they're turning the frogs gay. He's like, yeah, well, they actually are turning the frogs gay. He was right about that one. But 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 now there's 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 dark web hospitals and there's there's people that are actually you know uh, stealing medication out of uh, out of Fort Knox and uh, you know they're, they're they're yeah there's medicine in Fort Knox and and they're getting the coke from over over in Guatemala and they're they're actually uh, making up pill, pills and prescriptions and they're actually helping uh, save you know little pygmy children in Africa like you know this is how crazy but. It, it, I love Alex. I, I love Alex. He cracks me up. I mean, I just, I love, I love his, I love his, I love his banter. That's what I love about. I love Alex. his banter. He just, I love how he will go. He, he will. He's so passionate. He'll go on a on a tirade, and about fifty percent of the stuff he said is completely out in left field. <laughs> and there's truth in there somewhere. And you're like. God, I hope that part wasn't true. <laughs> then you find out three weeks later it but was. Sure, but you will. You'll find out eventually. It's like, oh, that, well, he was right about that one. So, but like it, the point is though, is it's like there is stuff that's forming because people, the brain can only take so much insanity before it literally goes, um, this is no longer and reality. See, here's the thing. The other thing that people need to realize, truth is not just a now. Nope. Truth is not just a now. Truth is a person. Okay. And some of you are going, right, what, what do you mean? I'm not. Jesus. Well, I know you are. <laughs> Duh. Jesus. I know him. God is <laughs> truth. Period. I know him. Period. <laughs> and mind you, keep in mind. Keep in mind. Keep in mind. When we talk, Jesus himself said it in the scriptures. I am the way, the truth, and the light. Nobody comes to the Father except through me. Right. So he said it. He's the truth. Remember what I said in the de in the definition for it. Exact accordance with that which is or has been or shall be. God is the one who is, who was, and who forevermore shall be. Period. In order to be so wait, God's Brett Hitman Heart? No, that's the best who, the best there is, the best there was, and the best ever. Well, is he be. not the best? Uh, I would say that he is beyond the best. He's beyond the scale. God's Brett Hitman Heart. I already know it. <laughs> <Shut up. laughs> Anyway, that's the second wrestling any, reference for any, tonight. And he's, and he's Ric Flair because to be the man, you got to beat the man. Okay. Woo! And, and, and he's Macho Man. He's the cream of the crop. That's right. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Listen here, Mean Gene. So it's what I'm saying here favorite is, wrestler, is that I'm sorry, he's you can't state truth if you don't know truth. And to know truth is to know God. I know I just lost a bunch of people. Maybe I just pissed off some people. I really don't care. If you don't know God, if you don't follow God, if you don't spend time with God, then you have zero clue what truth is. And and on that note, you also don't have a gauge on what good and evil is. Yes. Because the only way to have a morality is the to morality have Morality only comes from God. The, yeah. the idea of morality only comes from a, something outside of our plane of existence. Yeah. Telling us what is good and evil. Without that outside plane of existence, then we are deciding what is good and evil. Which is what's happening and now. Which is what's happening now. And yep. good and evil is not supposed to be subjective. It is supposed to be objective. It's definitive. It is very definitive. Evil is evil. Good is good. <laughs> Period. And then there's what's best. Because good and evil are on this. We're both at the same tree. Best is... 
what's perfect, what's best. That's what God created. Okay, so to know, the only way you can know what truth is, is to know who truth is. Period. Anybody else out there telling you otherwise? And there's a lot of preachers out there who I'm telling you right now, they preach a lot of fluffy things from their from their pulpits, but they don't even know who truth is themselves. And they need to get off the pulpit and repent and allow somebody who's actually going to speak the truth get up behind their pulpit. I'm talking to you, Joel Steen. Are you calling him out a lot? I'm going to keep calling him out, freaking heretic. Um, but then we're going to go one further. Because, again, the title of this series is not Truth Series. If it was, we'd be kind of in copywriting because there was a whole series called that before and uh, we don't want to take theirs. So, but it is not just truth. The, this whole thing is veracity. And and no, I'm not talking veracity. Okay. They're, they're, Spell they're it so everybody knows what we're Veracity. Right. V-E-R-A-C-I-T-Y. Yeah. Veracity. And again, Right. This one only has two. We weren't going to go through all the truth. Truth had like 13 things to go through. The top one explained it perfectly. But when it comes to veracity, the top part of the definition says habitual observance of truth or habitual truth. The second one says invariable expression of truth. That's that. It, Huh? <laughs> I was making That's faces. Good. I was That's making good. faces while it was up. <laughs> He's gonna stop. This guy over. So well, no, because it wasn't on me, so I could be funny. You know um, what I mean? But hey, habitual observance. Anybody who knows habitual, habitual means you do it all the time. You've done it more than once. You continue to do it. It is something mm -hmm. that you always do. A habitual yep. criminal is somebody who keeps causing crime. A habitual offender, they end up in jail. I don't know what this. But I'm laughing. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> oh, good. But. That means habitual observance of truth. You're not only do you know truth, are you speaking truth, but you live that truth, period. Where has that gone in this country? Well, this it's country, not habitual. This, this country was founded so, on that veracity. It was, it, was, it was founded on men who stood on truth, who stood on the word of God, who stood on all the things that God spoke of. And they're like, you know what? I'm going to tell you. We can do this here. Where did it go? Where are the where men? Where are the women exactly that actually speak truth? Why are you talking I know to this man. I know where it went. I know, where, I know that this man speaks truth every Sunday at the pulpit. I try. I, no, I know you do because well, believe, believe it or not. I, look, I'm a Berean. I check what this man says and do. I don't just take it because he's my best friend. I'm just going to believe what my pastor say. Pastor says this. Pa I don't care what pastor says. What God say. Um, and then when God's speaking through him, it should be the words of God, not the words of Gary. Um, it's true. So... Now we don't have this veracity. We do not have veracity. I'm going to keep saying it. Drill it into your mind. Because of a lack of veracity, we have people who just are blown by the wayside. They have no foundation. They're blown all over the place, and they jump from crap out idea to crap out idea just so that we can be accepted. Do you know why? No. Why? Do you, you don't why? know why there's why? no more veracity? What, what happened to veracity? Where'd it go? Do you know? I know. I'm going to hear what you have to say there, brother. All right. Well, I appreciate where did, that. Where did it go? Well, so what happened is a few things. One, the first thing that happened is that people were – I don't want to do too much of a history line because it's too, it's too broad. Oh, but, we could go forever on Yeah, I don't want, and again, I don't want to yeah. draw it too far out. So I want to kind of keep it as, as close to the, to the line as I can. But there was a certain point in history where people no longer looked to themselves to be the ones who could seek out and find truth. They were okay. They became okay with taking another person's word for it. Mm -hmm. Now, I, I could... Oh, so I, you mean that we shouldn't trust the science? Well, so I'm not even going to go to that point because this goes, like I said, you could probably, if you really wanted to be a good oh, historian we buff, could go all the way back to go, Darwin you, and what no, he did to go no, against the no, truth. We no, could go all, I'm not, oh, we could go. See, you're looking at people who are enemies to it. I'm not looking at people who are enemies. I'm looking at people who were willing to go and say, I'd rather believe that than what, well, that's what, what I, mean. I know to be true. I'm not talking so much that, that Darwin even wrote that stuff. That's not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is the fact that we had people at that time who claimed to be Christian at the time that they took God out of public schools or that the church left certain things that they were that we had 
I don't want to say control over, but we had our hands in and could keep it, could keep things at a level. You know, believe it or not, the whole rating system for movies and stuff. Yeah, the church was, yeah. had the majority. We didn't control the whole thing, but we had a majority stake in that board or whatever they call it, and we kept things cleaner. The minute the church was like, ah, Hollywood's got it. We can get out of here. They're doing a good job and left. Then we got what we got now. Same thing with schools. Yeah. Public school was originally created by New England churches. Granted, they turned it into well, a whole bunch of other things during the Industrial Revolution. But again, those Christians backed out of that and were like, oh, they're good. We, so, we've created it so it can't. it's foolproof. Nobody can screw it up. Y'all have fun with it and left. So and we see what you're, happens. You're, you're highlighting products. I'm looking at more of the... And it's because the individual person... Well, so like here's here's some better... Here's some... Uh, when I say better, I, I go lining thread where, okay. where, I, where I see more of this operating out of history. But automation is one of the key factors of where I believe this starts. So when things started becoming more automated... Um, and the ability or the relying on what you could do with your hands, your brain power, your faculties um, to finish or do a task um, is now something that is done. And it could be done by a, a simple machine, you know, just a conveyor belt or something like that. When, when that process started happening, and you, like I said, I'm not going to even try to draw the line in history because I don't know, but I could tell you it's probably back to when like the Model T was made. Okay, like we're talking yeah. old history. Okay, whatever 30s, 1920s, 30s, maybe even maybe shortly after that, somewhere around there. You're talking a long time ago, mm -hmm. but I'm not saying that that's where it, I'm not saying that that's like oh well that was full blown and that's we, we were doomed from that moment and just it's no. But what I am saying is that when those things started happening, so here's here's where the concept comes from. I go, well, people no longer have to think about the process that's automated because the process takes care of itself. Right? Yes. Okay. So this is this is kind of like the, the this is the the needle starting that first thread, and now it's going to start getting woven throughout history. So now carry that into. FDR, which is a great example of where this comes into play, where we need to m manipulate a gross amount of people to that we will tell them what to think, how to think, how to how to deal with problems in their life, and we'll do it through a process known as welfare. And we go, okay, that's not a problem because well, there are hardships. Or not FDR. That was, that was um, LJD. Uh, 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 yeah. Was yeah. B, or LBJ. LBJ. B. Yeah, I'm sorry. You're right. LBJ. I said FDR. I apologize. But that when, was to try to make the great society. So when when he when he promotes this, it's you know, and we know the quote. I'm not going to quote it, but basically, long story short, it was a process to basically manipulate a voting base to basically vote this way all the time. For right. The next two two centuries. So, before. and he wasn't wrong, but. The problem was is it used the same thread right back from where I started where I said that automation process. If we can automate care for general needs, you're supposed to work, right? Bible says a workman is worthy of his wages, right? If, if you, you don't, don't work, work, you, you don't, don't eat, eat, right? So that is a – that before this, that was the known common thing. Were there people that were poor and didn't have? Absolutely. And some people were like, well, yeah, but you didn't live back then. You know, they had it more difficult than white folk and all that stuff. Fine. That might be very true. But you could still work and you could still get a job and you could still do things to actually offload that. It might have been harder. And that I'm not taking away, but you still had the ability. But what yep. the government said is we're not, we're not going to let you do that. We're going to automate this process for you so you don't have to think about working anymore we're going to take care of that and, the and more now babies you now, have, the more now you get. take that thread further and now you have i hate this man i don't hate many people but i do hate this man because he is as evil as they come right now and everybody's thinking oh he's going to say soros no you think you'd people be watching the German who's in front of a TV saying the crap that Schwab is saying? What is it? Is it Schwab? Schwab. Yeah, Schwab. Klaus Schwab. Klaus Schwab. That guy is 
very, very, very evil. Yes. I just want to be clear. Yep. That is an evil man. Because, because you all sit want- there and go, oh, well, how did you not see Hitler coming? Did you look? Because that's him again uh, you coming know what, back. You like, know what, literally. You want to know what's funny? It is they, weird because he's coming from the same country. There were there were Christians who saw Hitler coming and spoke against him. And they were told to shut up by the rest of the church because Hitler was throwing money at the church. Said, said, why, why don't I take over? You'll be okay. Yep. Yeah, oh, yeah. They, they split the churches in Germany. So, there so, was the actual but, Christians and then there was the Nazi church. But you hear the same line now coming from a guy named Tr- Schwab, Schwab, I right? can't say. Yes, Schwab. he's evil. Okay, this guy is saying that you will own nothing. You will own nothing, and you will be happy. Yep. All of your stuff will be delivered to you via a drone. You will never want for anything. Your you, food. Yeah, you'll rent your, everything. Your, your, your everything you will be rented. Rent everything will be paid. You'll rent your house. But, you'll but rent your car. you will be given money by the government to pay for those things to take care of your general needs and all of the extra things that you want, you can rent them and you'll be happy. Now, if you're being told that, that's that's on full auto. But how did it get here? It started way back when, when we stopped trusting in our own abilities, right? And the ability that we can do things with our own hands and our own minds and comprehend what we're doing and the outcomes that'll happen to... I don't have to do any of those things. So the enemy to veracity, I hate to say it, but it's not going to make a lot of people happy either. I didn't know I was going to be the unhappy, unhappy popular one. It's a bunch of lazy, lazy, and I'm going to say it one more time, lazy human beings. Yep. The worst thing you can, imaginable. You can't. You can't. It's just lazy. You it's can't. Abject laziness. You cannot be. You cannot be someone who stands on truth and be lazy. You can't. You cannot. Because truth, truth, the truth, the truth opposes laziness. Yeah. Okay. Because because how many times, how many times have you encountered somebody telling you the truth about something? All right. Let's just say, uh, can, can I use you as an example? Yeah. Okay. The truth about your fight with alcohol. Yeah. Right? If you were lazy... Go You'd right still down. be drinking, right? <laughs> exactly. Because so it was easier so easy. <laughs> to drink and nothing, you know, it was the source of all your problems. But it, also it also was the, the cure to all of your problems. Yep. As well, as it far wasn't as, a cure. It as, was, uh, as what the lies. It was the medicinal. It, it, was, was, it was the lies figure. of the cure of right. all your problems, right. but it made, it made you feel like the problems went away. But the only way to combat that is to was, actively was getting the truth that, this isn't good for you. You're not a good person. You're not like that hurt being yeah. told those things about yourself being an alcoholic. But the only way you stopped it was by doing, was something. By doing something about yep. it. Yep. Doing nothing fixed nothing. nothing. Yep. I was also told too when I was homeless that while I still had a job, they were not going to help me. They told me quit your job. And the government will help you with yep. food stamps and everything yep. else. As do you long know, as you're I was working. making do you, do, money. Do you know what? Do you realize that welfare also teaches that it say uh, like, oh, oh, you're the baby daddy lives with you. Kick baby daddy out and have more babies. And we'll Hold more on. Money. I got y'all beat. I literally at a point was pretty, pretty struggling because there was a time where we both got laid off and from our jobs. And no, all. that was a few years ago. And, and, and it was really rough. And so I called the electric company and asked them about aids and helps and stuff like that. And they directed me to a website. Then I went to that website and then I go through that process and then I get to the part where they tell you, oh, you have to call and talk to this agent person, blah, 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 blah. And I said, okay, fine, no problem. So I call that person and this nice lady, and I, I'm not going to say names or anything like that, but this nice lady is on the phone and she turns around and she goes, she says, oh, okay, well, we can probably take care of that for you. That's not a problem. Um, what, what, what skin color are you? And I said, Why does that matter? I have no income right now and my electric is in danger of being shut off and I need help if possible if I can get it. Well, how much do you make on your unemployment? And I tell her how much I make on my unemployment. And she says, well, you're just past the threshold for where we can help. I said, on unemployment? Yeah. I said, really? And she says, but if you weren't white, we could make it work for you. And I'm like, are you serious? She says, I unfortunately am. And I'm like, that's racist. She says, it absolutely is. And there's nothing I can do about it. And I'm like, 
Holy crow! I literally got action. told. I literally got told. <laughs> affirmative action, another one. I literally got told on the phone from an actual human being that their reason for giving money out to help people with their electric and stuff is race based. Yep. Not you're white. Oh well. Same thing. Sucks to be you. Good no, luck. Same thing happened to me. Me and my ex. Stop. Do- stop. For the love of God. Believing if you uh, and I'm not saying this is trying to race bait a p- bunch of people into this, but if you as a white person are on this white guilt line or you're buying into the lie that you are you are a I'm privileged so white person, evil. let me tell you, being white today we is are the worse. Minority. We not only no, are we no, not, no, we're not the minority, not the minority. we are the minority. majority, but we are not privileged, ladies no. and gentlemen. We no. pay the most in taxes. We get no benefits. We get no help. We get Here's nothing. We work so y'all don't have to. And Congratulations, and you're welcome. Yeah, I said it. I'm sorry. And NAACP makes sure is that people of dark skin color can get into college. Uh, people of African. Oh, and if you're Asian, forget about it. Asian. <laughs> <laughs> um, Matt, uh, that's, that's that's the worst race to uh, be in this country. I will say that loud. No, I'm not serious. Latin, That's Latin bad. Latin Americans real can bad. get it, like I was actually told. I went to go work for a <laughs> horrible postal, mistreatment postal carrying service. I'm not going to say which one. Um, I went there. The United States? <laughs> no, no, no. It could be. Oh, it could be. It could be the brown guys. Oh, it could be the blue oh, guys. It could be the red guys. No, there's no. not. The United States postal service. No, no, no. There, uh, and that's not even true. A postage, a postal carrying service. I in this in this company, you had to start out as a dock worker. Mm. You would work uh, about right, twenty no. hours a week, and then after a while, you could. After you've done about a year or two of that, you could become a – you could drive one of the vans that they drive around house to house. And then after that, you could be offered to get your CDL and get to drive their their line haul, which is just you go five – And don't you, forget you also have Zon. You have, you have, five, you have five – you go five hours out and five hours in to get, to get back, whatever. Well, I already have my CDL. So I'm like, all right, I already got CDL. I want to be – drive truck. Oh, I'm sorry. You can't do that. Why? You got to start here. Okay, but if you lie and say that you're partially Mexican on your application, nobody will really ask because, you know, Mexicans can look white. This is what it's what a dark brown lady said behind the counter. Um, said that if I lied and said that I was partially Mexican, they won't even check it. There's enough people that, uh, that are Spanish yep. descent that look very white, so I would be passable, and I could immediately get put as hey, a tractor trailer. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, excuse me, I'm going to lie on the application. <laughs> and she was like... She was like, "Yeah." If you, she goes, it, "She's like, yeah. You'll you'll get hired immediately, and they'll they'll go with it and everything else." I'm like, "But my own my own history doesn't say that." She goes, it "Doesn't matter. They're not really going to look." Yep. Because they're not even going to question it. So and there and there and, and, you, gotta, and you you know what you and just and this is the thing that is the problem. truth that they're trying the hold on truth but that that's, they're trying to push. But that's not. But that's it's actually not. They they know they're perpetuating the lie, but it's because the model of what is to be received. As the truth isn't even based in truth anymore. Nope. It's not based in truth anymore. This and that, is, and where, that is, is, and that, that is that literally. Truth comes so, from. so, so, did I answer the question? Yeah. Okay. Good. I yeah, just want no, to make no. sure I answered. No, no, you answered the question. And see, this is the thing. This is where it's a big problem job. because people refuse to acknowledge. Here they truth. taste like chicken. But I'm, not, I'm not brave enough to try. People, people. I mean, ask the Haitians. Um, <laughs> Sorry. People sorry. are people, so why can't we eat? <laughs> <laughs> um, you so, and I just taste so awfully. <laughs> because, it, because people refuse to stand on truth, to live on truth, to even acknowledge who truth is to begin with. Mm-hmm. Because of that, we get all of, we'll believe anything. When there is, when, when you are being told that truth is subjective and facts this, facts that, and and you believe them. Because you're too, you know, for a generation right now, for a people right now, where it is so easy. Don't to say take it. No. This uh-uh. No. And get information. It, no. No. There ain't information on that. There you kidding false me? Information There's more that. fake than there is real. Wait, look, look okay. the internet is 99% porn. Okay. One percent of that is broken up into very little bits of truth listen, left. Okay. What I'm saying. Listen to what I'm saying. Right. When we I'm have not. access, <laughs> when we have access right now to the more to more information than we've ever had access to between 
get it be freedom of information act between all that stuff yes you got to do some digging for it to, to get past all <laughs> that garbage yep. okay but the fact that if i can do it and he can do it and the man back there behind the camera uh, nike can do it <laughs> If, yeah, I can do it. If, if just we, do it. If we can do it, then anybody can. But we just supremely, the, the, you just watch people do so it. In, they just soak Follow in your this crap. They don't soak. Your dreams, your dreams. They swallow this crap and don't even don't fact check it. Well, again, it comes down to laziness. Exactly. Too You're lazy right. to even look. Exactly. To online. Right. And so wait, so this is what's so funny. It got to a point where the laziness factor of fact checking something that's said now is left to a website to fact check that. <laughs> so I'm like, well, who's fact checking the fact checker? Because Snopes is wrong half the time too. And I'm like, how do you go to be so lazy that you go, the one thing that you have left to do, the only thing is go, well, I don't know if this, it doesn't seem right. I don't know. It seems a little, you know, far-fetched. I should probably go and check that out. Now nah, I'm just going to see if these guys did it for me. <laughs> You're right? out of your mind. It's insane. Like, I'll, give a, I'll give an example. I wasn't planning on bringing this up, but I'll give an example. The, I, I forget what state it was in. My son brought this up, and I had to set him straight on it because he had, he, he, they were talking about it in school, I guess. Um, it was a recent thing. Gosh. There was this trans female. Okay. To be clear, that is a boy, biological, that is... Pretending to be Actually, a girl. I think it's the other way. She was a trans male. Then that is okay. a that is a biological I, girl who is pretending to be a this boy. School, this I want. I just need I know, to I say know. these things okay. to know. I am. I. I am not there. I do not live in fantasy land. So I need All right, to have ahead. the clarification for my own understanding. Let, let me get through this because there's another thing that I want Thank to bring you. up. Thank you. Go ahead. The trans Sorry. male. The, this school district or this state. I, again, I forget which one it was. It doesn't really matter. Okay, said that they were banning. It didn't matter what sex you say you are or what gender you say you are. You will go into the bathrooms of your of what you were born. Your bio of what you're born. So you will bio biologically. Who was this trans? Good. Th this 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 crazy that thought that they were a male but actually female had to go to the girl had to go use the girl's bathroom by law. Well, Went in there. Three other girls walked in right behind her. She started a fight with them. She got beat up. <laughs> they stopped. The, they broke up the fight. The girl went to the hospital. She got sent home and cleared physically. Then the next day, committed suicide. It went all over the news saying that a transgender person was beat up and died from their injuries. All over the news. I saw it on Facebook. Everything. Oh, all these transgender communities saying, I stand with whatever that person's name they made up for themselves at the time. All this stuff. Come to find out. Two months later, it finally comes out that the autopsy report showed that she hung herself. She didn't die from the injuries of being jumped. And then they said that those two girl, three girls followed her in to beat her up in the, in, the, in the bathroom. Truth finally comes out two months later. Oh, no. She started the fight while they were in there to use the bathroom. Right. Because she was offended that they were well, Oh, it doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter what the exactly, reason. You know that's what went down. But she got. They got into it. No, you're, so you're, you're leaving something fight. out. You're leaving something important out. And, and, and this and, is, hold on, I'm and, gonna, can and I, can I had I, to set my son straight on this because the truth was, once it came out, mind you, I didn't say anything when this came out. I'm one of these people that when something big, something like that happens, give it a couple days, gorgeous. give it a couple days, give it a couple of weeks, find out rule. the truth, <laughs> find out the truth, the Bongino rule. and that's when it, and like when they released the truth, they released it in small writing way down yep. at the bottom. Yep. Because we were wrong, did, but you'll never know that we yeah. were wrong. Okay, and but because by law they actually have to do that. They have to tell you, or they, they have to retract. Libel. Yep, they can be sued for libel. But here's the they here's, don't have. And let's put it this way: if you the lie or the the recanting of the lie thing should to say. be as large as the lie. It's itself. supposed to be, and that's not in the writing though. So unfortunately, but going back to veracity, this is the truth. Okay, using that incident as a, as a case. That is a mentally unstable person. Fact. That is, a, that is a verifiable true fact. That is a mentally unstable person. And the knowing of mentally unstable people, this is, I mean, back when we were kids growing up, you may have known somebody who went- I had cousins who were- Who, went, who, was, who, went, who went little cuckoo for Cocoa yep. Puffs, 
and there was a place for them. Yep, sure. Because was. Funny because farm. because they were not safe. That's correct. Right? Because yeah. what happens you when to be when you are mentally when you're and I'm not I'm not sitting here advocating the the horrible things that people uh, did in the past like shock therapy and stuff. I'm not advocating any of that. Not I'm not advocating that. that. There's stuff that is now way more safe, way more way more, you know, controllable to to handle these situations. But I will say a person who is mentally unstable is unsafe for a reason because the instability in their mind doesn't recognize things that are very much important when it comes to acts of violence, knowing the difference between good and bad, knowing the difference between right and wrong, knowing the difference between male and female, knowing the difference between you are in a blurred gray state and when where that can stay, fluctuate instantaneously because you your chemicals a, are wrong. When you have a majority of the country and world that refuses to say stand it's on okay. Look, there are three things right now in this country that are unsafe. The open borders down at the south, yep. okay, is completely unsafe because what is coming across the border, unchecked, unsupervised, un unclassified, undocumented, call it whatever you want, I don't care, but it's unsafe Illegal. because 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 it's not checked, it's not verified, it's allowed all kinds of people to come across, and you're telling us that, oh, they're okay, and even if you grant them amnesty, that, oh, now that they're supposedly legal citizens they aren't they haven't gone through the process they don't give a to, crap about to this care country. about the laws they don't even know the laws in this country they're going to do whatever they want and that's been evident so that's already happening that's unsafe thing number one unsafe number thing number two is the continual perpetualization of this lgbtq movement in this country to apply that trans rights or human rights and all that garbage you're trying to say you are actually not helping people who are mentally unsafe and you know what you're doing harm and, and to the them and, 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 you're doing oh, harm is such harm and you know what because here's the truth here's the funny little truth let's see if you guys know this one if right now i didn't get to say my third sorry i will i'll let because it, it's really quick it's, it's really quick and okay. short is and the, and the last unsafe thing is every single lie they tell you about firearms yep is completely unsafe Yep, because you are literally making people afraid of the things that will absolutely save their life in a time of need and crisis. And and that's it. Those are the three very unsafe things that are happening. There are so, right because of these truths, education. Not, because, like because, because, it's like a fourth. Because they fail to go with these truths. All right. If they actually told these 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 people that were mentally unstable with with their uh, the transgender BS, if they actually helped them or told them the truth or left you know didn't 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 try to get them to get what they say they want um 87 percent of them grow out of it and they're okay mm -hmm. now the minute that you help them transition transition um zero percent chance it it it's goes insane. from it goes from a 47 percent chance that before transitioning maybe 40 some percent um, Mike is uh, like, forty-seven percent of suicide. Uh, suicide. Yeah. goes up to one hundred. It goes up to like ninety-eight percent as soon as you it's, help them transition. Yep. So how is that helping anybody? It's not. it's not because even the people that have been transitioned, the ones that don't unalive themselves, the ones that don't unalive themselves are have actually to go speaking back against, back against it and now. Have to go and back now and they transition, but and they, now they can't fully detransition. Or they detransition as much as they can, but they they can never go back. They they'll back. never be able to procreate. Yeah, sorry, they can't. You can't put it back on once you chop it off. And, well, not only that, once you take the medication that is supposed to help uh, puberty blockers, it permanently Damages blocks the stuff, puberty. Yeah. It's not like you stop taking it and now you hit puberty. No, it stops it. Yeah. It's the same medication they give to pedos while they're in prison to take away their ur their, their, their urges. It's, it's, it's chemically neutering people. Yeah. Okay, so I say all that. We, we've talked about extensively what, it mean, what, what truth is and what veracity is. Here's the... Here, <laughs> Here's the big question. Why is it for a country that has churches on every other street corner, are we not seeing veracity in the church or the, the body of Christ? Lazy. <laughs> well, not this time. No, this time it's not lazy. This time it's not lazy. Well, let's, hear, let's hear what the pastor has to say. No, it, 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 it is another, it is another, again, you could probably say this has got some narrative in history as well, but, um, you are talking about now an age where the truth in the church no longer matters. 
We got to fill the seats. We got to pay for the building. We got to pay for this. We got to pay for that. If we don't have it's enough not, people in the seats, it's not even pay for things. It's really pastor not. Pastor needs a new two hundred thousand dollar Rolex. You know, it's not about because a workman's worthy of his wages. I will say this: I think that there are a bunch of churches out there that that sow a lot into the kingdom and don't take don't take stipends, don't take you know pay salaries or anything like that. Um, I think there are churches out there that do are doing God's work and doing good things, but. Unfortunately, and this is again back to your question, a majority of churches in America um, are, and I want to be very careful with my words here, so I'm going to use the best word I can, and, and they're entertaining people. Yep. And that has to do with two things. One is that the people want to be entertained. Yeah. So you have a two part problem. Okay. You have a problem where the people of the of the of the United States of America, and I'll pick on the Americans because honestly, if you go to churches in foreign countries, that's not how church and, operates in, in third foreign countries. world countries. There, there, are, there are there are better churches in, in Africa, countries like in China and Russia. And you're like, wait a minute, these places? Are you serious? Where it's illegal yes, to be a Christian. Yes, because it's not legal to be a Christian. And so they are very serious about making sure that when they get church, it's very serious. It's very real. And their their ministry is real life. They live it every day. Yep. Because they can't live they can't live their lives in the truth that we can live it in here because we have freedom, right? So freedom can kind of be an enemy to us here where – because American citizens have a freedom, that freedom is kind of like a double-edged sword. Yeah, you have the freedom to worship and you have the freedom to all these you know, wonderful things you want to celebrate God and worship him and how you want. That's great. But that also left us open to a door, which is we also are free to really gravitate towards entertainment. We like to be entertained. We like to have uh, why, our, uh, we like to have our uh, what, what is it? Uh, our senses tickled. Yeah. You know? We we like that tingling sensation that we get. So what churches have learned is that, well, I can tap into that. And not just for profiting, but it, it's it's almost – and I don't know if it's an egotism thing or whatever, but there's this connection that happens in church. And we have it you know, in our churches where there's a connection that you guys have with me as pastor that is, is important in your life. There's yep. an important role the church has in the lives of believers – and so that almost can be addictive. And I'm not saying that in a bad way. I'm saying it in a way to give more of a transparency or an understanding to maybe like where, where heads of ministry and people who operate and serve in ministry. Because when you're making a difference in somebody's life through a divine move of God and God, you see him move in somebody's life and you are the vessel. It, it, it's it's there's an adrenaline that comes with that okay uh -huh. there's a divine adrenaline that comes with that but that can become addictive and so what happens is is then you now you, you, want you, you almost want more of it so now you need more people who need help well how do i get more people who need help got to attract them i got to attract them and so now the people who you need to attract are really not people who really need to hear the word of god but you just need people that you can minister to and so you'll try to do anything and like you, we joke around and we were showing the video earlier, but I wrote with the guy with the kids ministry and I thought that was funny, but, um, like you got all this entertainment based church stuff that's out there now to just attract people in. And now you're entertaining people. You're really not needing to bring truth. You're just needing to entertain. And so it, the, the whole aspect of what you're doing, the veracity starts to disappear because you only have a window of time to operate in the church. And if you start, that, and you know, I think there's there's been some accounts of churches that were entertaining churches, and all of a sudden the pastor gets lit up by the Holy Spirit and he changes everything, and, and that church leave. evacuates in a minute because they're like, no, we're not here to we hear that. We this. didn't we sign up. We need to get our Here's Nintendo it. Switches I, for the I, lottery I, game. I, I, like, I, that's what they want. And it's <laughs> like, I'm sorry, that's 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 bad. Here, here's Here's... Where I, I, and I I'm I not saying agree, that I'm wrong, agree. but I'm just saying I, it was. I agree, it, it's, I agree. it's definitely where I can I, see a big part of it. I agree. And another place that the veracity went, people traded in the truth for out nicing God. Okay, mm -hmm. I can see that too. We've yeah. got a to deed, be accepting. A good, a good deeds, a good deeds mentality. That, we, that we've got to be. We've got to be accepting. We can't. We can't. We we can't be too mean. Oh. 
because they won't come. I, I'm so glad we, I don't drive by that Unitarian church. Yeah. Right oh, man. oh my gosh, man. Okay. That church is so when bad. When you get to the point where... Oh, it's so bad. When, when you say that you're, you're seeker-friendly and we just need to forgive people and the biggest thing that... Oh, we can't judge anybody for where they are... And we can't. I'm not we saying can't you need to fly an American flag on your church, but you definitely can't fly an LGBTQ oh, yeah. flag on your church. Okay? <laughs> well, that, like, hey, just but hey, because, you can't. They, because they've outniced God. Here's the thing: because Christians have tried to outnice God, we have pa- pastors or we have leaders in the church who can sit, come in and be like, "I'm a, I'm gay," and still be leadership. Because we've outnized God, we've had people who are sleeping with every woman, every single woman, and probably some of the married women in their congregation. Or the men. Or the men in their congregation. Just say it. <laughs> but you can't judge me. I'm the man that God has put here, so you got to forgive me and still listen to what I say on Sunday. Because we've outnized God, we've, we've got churches now that have, you know, we have women can go in men's bathrooms and men can go in women's bathrooms. You took out your sex bathrooms and you just have... Yeah, now you have transformer bathrooms. Okay. <laughs> because we've outniced God, we have made it so that, you know what? Oh, everybody that... Every, we, we Granted, the church is supposed to be a hospital of sorts, spiritually speaking. The sick come in, they get healed, and then they get built up, and then they get released to do the things of God. Not anymore. Now it's let's attract everybody. Let's love on everybody. Let's not condemn everybody. Incubate let's, them. Let's not change anybody. And... Let's just push it out there. Everybody, you're just perfect the way you are. Well, that's kind of so that hey, is, he's not the wrong. Sparkle Creek. Hold on, hold on. Come on, from right, last year, right, the right, Sparkle Creek. Right, but the thing is, is you're you're, you're right, and I, I'm not saying that both either point is wrong or right. No, yet, no, I'm, I'm not. Saying, I'm not disagreeing with like you the, either. The point, the point that you made about that is, it's almost like people are taking the scripture about you know how how God created each and every one of us. He knows no, he knows the you know. Oh, you mean like Biden did, that. where he said he said you were made in God's image, but he forgets to read the second part where it says you were made in God's image, one man, you know, a man and woman. But, but in God's image, like there's not uh, the he, she, it, fox, little, blah, 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 but like, but, that, but you the know, point made in God's image. The point though that he is well pleased with us, and 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 he's there's this overwhelming joy that God has in His creation that we don't understand. That yeah, that was before the fall, and after we fell, we were separated from God. So you know, the whole Bible is an understanding of yeah, this was His intentions, but because of our sin and we fall, and now the rest of the Bible is literally a love story of God trying to win I us back. I should have found him. the video for today. I I didn't even think about it. I saw this video yesterday. I forget what I was scrolling through, but I saw this video. This person coming up talking about it, talking to a a gay person who goes to this church, this one church, and it was asking you know, uh, you know, where in the Bible does it, can you be? Can you be gay? Can you be lesbian? Whatever, and still be a Christian. And the guy was like, "Yes, you can." And he goes, "Well, what about when when your pastor's preaching in the Word where it says, you know, uh, you know, that homosexuality is is frowned upon by God?" And he's like, "No, no, 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 no. We don't. That's the Bible. We 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 go by Jesus. We follow Jesus. Yeah, uh, Jesus never mentioned that, so we don't talk about that. Because <laughs> hmm. technically, he didn't." He didn't bring in the whole, whole, that was later with the epistles and it was in the Old Testament, it was in the New Testament with Paul and all them. They wrote extensively on it. It's in Revelations where John uh, John went up into the heavenlies and was shown a bunch of things. Jesus himself never really, I mean, he was going after the Pharisees. He spent most of his uh, of his time on earth going after the the religious and, and, and going after them and telling people the kingdom of heaven. He told them about hell and told them about the kingdom of heaven. But the the fact that people are like, oh no no no, we're not talking about that. That's the Bible. We're not, we don't do that here. We just follow Jesus. Uh, 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 excuse me, excuse me. Uh, well, have you ever read the red the red writing in the Bible? Um, because it, it literally says that Jesus said that he didn't do anything unless he saw the Father do it first. Well, I just go back to the first. I just go back to the simplest part, which is in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was God, and the Word was with God. Yes. Jesus is the Word. Jesus right? is the Word. So, so you can't. You, 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 you can't. If you're following you Jesus. You're following the whole Bible. You have to. You have to. Without it's, a shadow of doubt. Just, yeah, I'm sorry. So I, again, this is people that sit on their own truth and they go, "Oh, well, there's parts of the Bible that's problematic." A, you know, people. No, it's not. Say, no, 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 it's not. No, it's not. You're the problem. Well, and so and 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 I, don't get me wrong. Before he got saved, before I got saved, before that man got saved, we were the problem. Yeah, hundred percent. God has never been the problem. The Word of God has never been the problem. We've been the problem, which is why we needed a, a, a we needed salvation 
through Jesus. But you can't stop at the salvation part. You got to right. go with the Lord part, the King part. Because if we're if we're supposed to be Kings, lower KK, he's the King of Kings. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Watch it with whoa, those whoa, keys. Whoa, that was close. If, <laughs> if we're Lords, the lowercase L, then he is the capital L, Lord of Lords, King of Kings. Okay. Right. You still have to follow him. And you still have to follow his word. If you want to know what the king want, what his orders are, open your Bible up and read it. Read all over. Read every script. And you will know what the Bible says. But too many times in so many different things. And we're not just talking about the LGBTQ. When it comes to cessationism, when it comes to the, a bunch of health, wealth, and prosperity doctrines, with absolute lies. If people would actually open their Bibles and read what the Bible actually said and stood on the, that truth, which is the only truth. We wouldn't have the country, we wouldn't have the country, let alone the world that we have right now. What are you tapping me for? Oh, uh, time. I'm, yeah, time. Okay. <laughs> I, I thought he was going to yell at me for going. Nah, tomorrow. nah, nah. Okay, nah, but nah. this is something that even I'm getting sick of, and that's what we're going to be talking over the next. Uh, obviously, this was the introduction. Next week or in two weeks, we're going to be talking how how because of the lack of veracity in our lives and in this country, in, in our lives individually and in this country. There's no ethics. And you wonder why we're living in the world we're living in. And then the last one is to show that because of veracity, even more detail of how this whole my truth and all this other stuff has destroyed America all the way down to the individual family, which is the first form of government in this country is the family. That is the way this country was instituted, was to be family first. And then the leadership up to the president. And every government part all the way through has its own part to play but when you don't know the truth and you don't know who is the truth you believe that you know somebody comes out and goes we the people means the government no we the people means we the people okay so you'll 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 believe garbage because you don't know the truth so seriously you need to crack open your bibles you need to get to know the truth you gotta find the book that has the most dust on it Yes, that's the that's probably the one in here. Like, <laughs> I, I wouldn't say don't go for the original King Jimmy unless you. Can I, read I will Shakespeare, say, and, and, Shakespeare and, and, really and well. I will say this only because I have heard this. I I, and I I I would love to get somebody who works in hotel management to tell me if it's true or not. Okay, I would love to, but they actually don't care if you steal the Bible out of the hotel. No, they don't. The Gideon that's Bible? Right. So, so, so I, I, I'm just saying that even if you are a little unjust and you're not and you're hard pressed <laughs> for a Bible, there's always a hotel. What are you talking <laughs> about? There's free apps on your phone. <laughs> look, 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 I understand Everybody's that. But, I'm saying, but if you need, if you're really, maybe you don't. Maybe maybe you don't have one. Maybe you're poor and you can't get one. I'm just saying. You can, you can get one out of a hotel. Library, you, can get, you, can get, you, can get, you can get one out of the hotel. I'm just saying. I don't reckon. I don't what? I don't advocate stealing. I have money to go to a hotel. <laughs> no, not everybody. In the room not everybody. Room. Some people no, have I'll tell like you a church that pays for their hotel stay uh, for. Hey, you know, hey, I'll tell you that. I'll, I'll tell you saying. this much. If you really need a Bible, and if a church is anything worth their salt, they'll get you one. You go into a church and go, "I'd really like to have a Bible. I don't have one." They should have some to give away, especially yeah. for new converts. Here, you need a Bible, but it's I not, will, it'll I, be a paperback. I, it may not be the best. I will but say it'll though, start the process. I will say though that one Bible is a little sus, though. What one? The the Gen Z Bible. I don't I don't trust that. No, one. no, that's <laughs> not a real Bible. Hilarious. That video was hilarious. <laughs> I don't think it was a real Bible anyway. I think the if guy it ever is a real Bible, I'm I'm I'm, well, I'm remember in Remember when we were in high school, they came out with the Ebonics Bible? That was bad, too. The, I'm, I'm just saying, it's all bad. It's not good. But, it's still bad. So, listen, guys. Seriously, uh, first of all, thank you for, for coming to the corner of Church and State where there is no separation. Like... We need you to like the bell. We need you to ring the bell for the notifications. We need you to give us all the stars. We need you to subscribe to the YouTube channel or subscribe to the audio platforms or yep. Rumble. We need you to share this to everybody because people need to hear this stuff, whether they like it or not. Tweet it, exit, uh, whatever it's, it, called, exit, I don't know what it's called. Um, <laughs> we need this to go out and people need to hear the truth. Also, if you live in South Jersey, and don't have a place of worship that is giving you the truth that you need to hear. Please Rassy. go go into our into the link tree, get the address for streams from our website that is in the link tree, and come to Streams Life Fellowship and join us on Sunday. We will welcome you with open arms. We will be glad to pray with you, worship with you, everything else. Please come. If you can come to South Jersey and want to actually hear some truth, 
coming out of the pulpit, coming from the Word of God, this man does a great job of doing. He's kicked us in the butt a lot lately. And this guy this does year. the recording. Yep, does the guy back here does recording. <laughs> we, you can go into our website and again listen to previous messages, okay, and hear what God is saying, hear what God is doing. Amen. And lastly, if you have any prayer requests, you know what? Even if you need help finding a church in your area, I, I would be happy to do the legwork. I, 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 these guys know I can, I can do research. I would be happy to do the legwork to find a good church in your area for you. Put it up there in, a, in an email. I would much prefer spend 15, 20 minutes to find somebody a church to go to that's going to speak the truth than to than to let to let somebody who has no idea where to start pick some place that is going to give them out and out lies. I'd rather take that time. Yeah. I honestly would. Yeah. The email is in the link tree. You have questions. You have prayer requests. You you need help finding a church. You you want to you want books that could help you guide you to becoming a better man of God stuff like that anything that we've got that we've got in our libraries that we can push you towards to be like hey read this check this out go with that we have no problem having these discussions please email us and first and foremost if we don't have an answer we will pray and we will search the word of God until we have one we will not we will tell you flat out from the door we don't right now we don't know the answer to that question give us some time. And we will find, we will dig in the we, word of we, God. We will, we will, we will not, we will not just sell you a bill of goods nope. just to get you to. I would rather tell you the truth and you get pissed I'd rather off at tell me you, than lie. And you I would rather my best tell you, I don't lie. know. Then tell you a lie. But I can find out than to tell you something that isn't true. Yes. Yep. Yep. So. Lost start, by the way. Huh? That's a lost start. Yep. It is. So y'all have a good night. God bless. And we shall see you in two weeks. Peace. I can't help it. I just seem to see the world different. It ain't Republicans or liberals. It's mental illness. The internet is only interested in left opinions. Cancel culture's got more power lately than the First Amendment. If you don't like it, leave. We will not defund police. We don't want no riots in our neighborhoods or in the streets. We respect freedom of speech. We protect what we believe. We don't want nobody dead, so please do not tread on me. In America, you're free to make free. In America, that soldiers dying overseas, so America